The 53rd running of the Sault Ste. Marie International 500 concluded last weekend. The Thumb had some successful snowmobile race teams that we would like to congratulate. Bell Racing's Rodney Bell of Unionville, Michigan took the lead on lap four and held on to take the checkered flag of the 15 lap inaugural race of the Grow Up Old 600 Mods feature. Bell Racing is sponsored by Woody's, Dan Piorkowski's Race Sleds, Schultz Racing, and Weiss Equipment of Frankenmuth. The main event of the Sioux I-500, which is one of the world's longest endurance snowmobile races, takes place on a one-mile ice oval track. This year, the 500-mile race was won by Nelson Racing out of Wisconsin. In second place, less than five seconds behind, was WV Racing from Unionville. We had the opportunity to talk to one of the WV Racing captains, Kevin Vermash, about the team, sponsors, and his snowmobile racing background. We went to a race, and I was just helping out in the pits, and... Uh... <laughs> There was a, somebody crashed, so there was a sled that was available to ride, and Brent said, get on and go, and I haven't quit. I've been racing at the Sioux for, this was my 10th year that I that I rode. Um, I rode for a few different teams, um, but Keith and I rode this year. I've ridden his sled, and um, Piche Racing now, so I rode for it too. Who makes up WV Racing is uh, my two brothers, um, Charlie Wiltsey, he's the W. Um, we got Ray and Kyle Streeter, uh, Chris Reams, Andrew Smith. Um, I gotta remember their real names instead of their, their nicknames. Uh, Adam Fiebig, Mike Burza, um, all the wives, girlfriends, my stepdad Leroy. We have Keith too, Keith came forth to ride, so then, so then my Uncle Kim helps also now. Our sponsors are the Cedar Tavern for Mash Farms, Veda Villa, uh, Wolsey Property Management, Redline, Be Cool, Venom, Abbey Stoneworks, Wisner Machine Works, Ridge, USI Skis, Power Mad, Ferro Gas, Moto Tassinari, Climb, and Weiss Equipment. The value they bring to us is huge because um, I would say we're on the lower end of the budget of a race team. I mean, we work in a two car garage at my house. Um, we build a lot of our own things, you know, we have some guys that can do machine works and um, So, I mean it pays for You know if it's uh, anything I mean it, that we don't have to pay for it I mean it's huge for us then I mean that's something we can you know, maybe some extra money we can stick into our slide if we don't have to pay for propane or um, a, a ski or get discounts on clothing something like that So with every sponsor big or small makes a huge difference for us um, the other snowmobile racing teams are Countryside Motorsports, which is um, in Seaboyn, and um, I know Humpert's Race, r and Racing, they have, a, they have a race team there from Fairgrove. Um, I know they race the Sioux and do some sprint stuff, they're not really enduro anymore, so Rod and Tom Bell, um, they race the Sioux. Oh, work we do is um, changing jets, you know, that's depending on how, what the temperature is. Um, Adding studs, pulling studs, um, picking track up to make to make it faster, slower. Carbides, you know, maybe change a carbide here or there, um, just to get make sure handling's correct. And um, that's, I mean, it's pretty basic stuff, but it's all important. I rate my pit crew as the best. I mean, uh, you have to, right? Because they're the ones that um, you trust. I, I've never went out on the track and ever felt uncomfortable or you know not worried about anything working and I know if something needs to get adjusted during the race it it'll happen and it'll happen at a timely manner um I think they do a great job um upcoming races are Kinross this weekend and then our last race is Lincoln um the following weekend and then that wraps up our Myra season congratulations to all the local snowmobile racing teams if you want to watch their upcoming races, check out the Myra website at myraracing.com and find their schedule of events. The races are also available to stream on the Flow Racing Network. To all the teams in the area, good luck this weekend in Kinross and next weekend in Lincoln.